Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the question which says that if Z is equal to A plus B iota and alpha is equal to Z plus Z iota whole upon Z minus Z iota, then show that absolute value of alpha is equal to 1. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, the absolute value or modulus of any complex number Z such that Z is equal to A plus B iota where A, B belongs to the set of real numbers is given by absolute value of Z is equal to absolute value of A plus B iota which is equal to square root of A square plus B square. Thus the modulus of this number is just the distance from the origin to this point. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now in the question this is given to us and we have to show that absolute value of alpha is equal to 1. So given Z is equal to A plus B iota and alpha is equal to Z plus Z iota whole upon Z minus Z iota. First of all we will find Z plus Z iota. Now Z plus Z iota will be equal to now put in the value of Z here this will be equal to A plus B iota plus A plus B iota the whole into iota. Now this is further equal to A plus B iota plus A iota plus B iota square. Further, this is equal to A plus B iota plus A iota plus now iota square is equal to minus 1 so it is B into minus 1 because iota square is equal to minus 1. So further, this will be equal to A plus B iota plus A iota minus B. Now this can also be written as A minus B the whole plus A plus B the whole into iota. Now we will find Z minus Z iota. Now putting the value of Z here, this will be equal to A plus B iota the whole minus of A plus B iota the whole into iota which is further equal to A plus B iota minus A iota minus B iota square. Now this is equal to A plus B iota minus A iota minus B into iota square is minus 1. So it will be minus 1 here and this will be equal to A plus B iota minus A iota plus B. And this can also be written as A plus B the whole plus B minus A the whole into iota. Further, this can also be written as A plus B the whole and from this taking minus 1 common it will be minus A minus B the whole into iota. Now let us name this as 1. Now this is Z plus Z iota and this is 
Z minus Z iota. Now, put in the values of Z plus Z iota and Z minus Z iota in one we get alpha is equal to A minus B the whole plus A plus B the whole into iota whole upon A plus B the whole minus of A minus B the whole into iota. And now we will rationalize this. So alpha will be equal to A minus B the whole plus A plus B the whole into iota whole upon A plus B the whole minus of A minus B the whole into iota. Now for rationalizing this, we will multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of this. So it will be into A plus B the whole plus A minus B the whole into iota whole upon A plus B the whole plus A minus B the whole into iota. So this implies alpha is equal to A minus B the whole plus A plus B the whole into iota the whole into A plus B the whole plus A minus B the whole into iota the whole whole upon A plus B the whole minus of A minus B the whole into iota the whole into a plus B the whole plus A minus B the whole into iota the whole. Now this implies alpha is equal to, first of all we will solve the numerator, so it will be A minus B the whole into A plus B the whole plus A minus B the whole into A minus B the whole into iota plus A plus B the whole into A plus B the whole into iota plus A plus B the whole into iota into A minus B the whole into iota. Whole upon, now for the denominator we will apply the formula of A minus B the whole into A plus B the whole which is equal to A square minus B square. So by applying the formula here this will be equal to A plus B whole square that is A square minus B square that will be A minus B the whole into iota whole square. Now this implies alpha is equal to A minus B the whole into A plus B the whole is equal to A square minus B square. And here A minus B the whole into A minus B the whole will be A minus B whole square into iota plus a plus B the whole into A plus B the whole will be A plus B whole square into iota plus A plus B the whole into A minus B the whole will be equal to A square minus B square the whole into iota into iota will be iota square. A plus B whole square minus of A minus B whole square into iota square. Now this implies alpha is equal to A square minus B square plus from these two terms taking iota common it will be A minus B whole square plus a plus B whole square the whole into iota plus A square minus B square the whole 
into a meter square is minus 1. Hold upon a plus b whole square minus of a minus b whole square into a meter square which is equal to minus 1. Now this implies alpha is equal to a square minus b square plus here a minus b whole square will be a square plus b square minus 2ab plus a plus b whole square will be a square plus b square plus 2ab the whole into iota and here it will be on multiplying with minus 1 it will be plus b square minus a square hold upon now in the denominator a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab and minus into minus will be plus and here a minus b whole square will be a square plus b square minus 2ab. Now this implies alpha is equal to now these terms are cancelled with each other. And in the numerator it will be 2a square plus 2b square the whole into iota. Whole upon in the denominator these terms are cancelled with each other and it will be 2a square plus 2b square. Now this will be cancelled with each other. So this implies alpha is equal to iota. Now we know that a complex number is a number of the form a plus b iota where a and b are real numbers. And a is called the real part and b is called the imaginary part. So we can write this complex number as alpha is equal to 0 plus 1 iota. So here a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1. Now using this result which is given in the key idea the absolute value of alpha is equal to square root of a square plus b square which is equal to square root of 0 square plus 1 square which is equal to root 1 and that is equal to 1. Hence, absolute value of alpha is equal to 1. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.